Hello and you are very welcome back to DaVinci Resolve A to Z, your one stop for all things DaVinci Resolve and this is DaVinci Resolve Quick Tips so let's just jump right in. In today's episode of Quick Tips we're going to look at three different ways of adjusting your white balance in DaVinci Resolve. So method number one is the eyeballing and fully manual method, simply adjusting temperature and tint. So we're looking at our footage and we can see it on our vector scope that we're on the greeny side of things and on the warm side of things. So to get the green out we'll add magenta so we'll push towards the magenta side of things and we'll get the green out like that and then we'll cool it down a bit so we'll push it towards the blue side of things and around there uh, between the scopes and our image we're looking like we've cleaned up our white balance quite nicely. This method is probably the best one to get familiar with because you might not necessarily always have something in shot like a white t-shirt or a white fridge for you to reference off of for other methods. So this one is the most universal one but requires a bit of effort and thinking. Let's reset this node and look at the full auto mode. So if you have something white in frame, especially if it's a color chart that you can 100% trust, or in this case, a white t-shirt that we can like 99% trust, we can grab this white balance dropper tool, bring it to what we think in frame is meant to white, click there, and we will get an auto white balance. And notice how the values that we adjusted to versus what it got are in and around the same. Its values are probably more accurate though. Um, versus our eyeballing of it. But that's just another fully automatic way of adjusting your white balance. Now, lastly, this one gives you a level of precision. Um, so what we'll do is we'll unlink our uh, RGB curves if they're not already unlinked. And what we'll do is make sure we have our qualifier tool selected here. And again, if you have something that you know is meant to be white in frame, you can click on that and what you'll get is a series of points plotted on your graph here. And basically what we want to do is we want to make all these points in terms of the R, G and B, we can ignore the luminance, to be on the same height. So my tip for this though is rather than pulling green and red down to meet blue, or pulling blue and red up to meet green in this case, I would suggest meeting in the middle. So let's bring our blue channel up to meet red, which makes sense because if this is on the warm side and we add blue, we'll be cooling it down. So that makes sense. And our green channel, we're on the greeny side, so we want to pull green out of it. So we pull green down. That's why this method works. So with those on roughly the same level, you can see our image has now cleaned up its white balance. You can see it on the graph here in our vector scope. And then lastly, if we come to our parade, we can also see that. We can see our green channel coming down, we can see our blue channel going up, and we can see our values in the t-shirt range, which is here, here, and here, have now all gone to the same level, hence getting a nice clean white balance. So those are three different ways of setting your white balance in DaVinci Resolve. We hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.